I, they weary me. They, they, they just weary me. I, my, 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 the producer, uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Dick Crew, and oh, by the way, those of you who have sent in letters of concern, yes, he's much recovered when we threw the woodpeckers on his wooden leg. Uh, we've, we've replaced that now with a new aluminum one. It's much better. Mr. Crew says, can you tie this one, this commentary, in with the Academy Awards? I said, I got your tie-in right here, Mo. He wants me to talk about sci-fi and science fiction and the Academy Awards. Why bother? It's the same screed every year. Science fiction films make more money than any other genre of films, any other kind of films, but do you ever see them in the Academy Awards? No. They're always nominating something done by Merchant and Ivory, which would put, I don't know, Teflon to sleep. In any case, I don't want to talk about the Academy Awards. I don't watch the damn dumb things. What I want to talk about are sequels. Sequels are wearying me. That's why I'm doing this one on my back. I'm really tired of it. There have only been a couple of good sequels, as far as I can tell. 1978. Uh, the, uh, the remake of uh, The Body Snatchers, directed by Philip Kaufman, was wonderful. It was beautifully written, and, 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 and um, not by Kaufman, by, a, by a, a writer, not a director. And then, of course, there was the, the David Cronenberg version of the, uh, of the Fly, which was remade in, uh, I guess it was 86. Those are wonderful. Of course, in 1986 was also the remake of Invaders from Mars, which, when it was originally made back in the 50s, was one of the great stupid movies of all time. I always liked the zipper down the back of the Martians as they ran away from you through the caves. And, of course, when they remade it, it was equally stupid. But that's beside the point. Uh, I was recently approached by a film company that wanted to remake Forbidden Planet. The great Forbidden Planet, the great MGM film. You know, Dr. Morbius, Walter Pigeon, you know, Annie Francis, the tiger, the, the whole thing. And I said to them, why, why remake it? Why would you want to remake it? I said, well, we own the rights. I said, no, 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 you don't understand. It was made properly the first time. Remaking Forbidden Planet is dopey. It was made properly the first time. What you want to do is you want to do the sequel. Is it a sequel? I said, yeah. Those incredible doorways that the Krell came through. What shape were the Krell? What happened to them? Do you mean to tell me that a race that could build those machines, that could create such a planet, those people just died? No, no, no. The mystery of what happened to the Krell would be a sensational sequel film. And in fact, everybody who was left alive at the end of Forbidden Planet, at that time, Jack Kelly was not dead. He recently died. Still alive. You can have them for cameos. And Francis and, 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 and all the rest of them, Earl Holloman, all of those people can, can reappear. And then you have the new people go in search of the secret of the crowd. They said, oh, how fascinating, how fascinating. They came and they talked to us endlessly, endlessly, endlessly. Never heard back from them. Now, I was having dinner with Ray Bradbury the other night, and Ray said, guess what I've been asked to be a consultant on? I said, what? He said, they're going to remake Forbidden Planet. And then he dropped his head into his hands, and he went like this and said, oh, my, oh, my. And that's what I say, too. There's so many great ideas out there, so many books that have never been touched. Why doesn't somebody pick up J.T. McIntosh's 1 in 300 and make that? Why doesn't somebody finally, with all the morphing techniques we now have, make Alfred Bester's The Demolished Man? Who the hell has the, has the, has the stupidity to want to remake Forbidden Planet? It wearies me. I faint. I go. Oh.